My vision is a place where people can live together in harmony, in harmony with each other, in harmony with nature, in harmonious buildings and harmonious dwellings, where everything is integrated and works together with the ecosystems of nature. I have a vision of free land legacy, where we are putting land into trust that is not owned by any one particular person, that we all share, where nobody owns anything, in fact, where all the homes are created and built for free, under the banner of the trust, where everything is paid for by the trust, which means that as a community, we're working together to raise funds, to bring in resources, and to create something that works for everybody. What I'm looking forward to is actually building the houses, designing them, eco-friendly and being self-sustainable. Building the water systems, the purification systems, building a permaculture centre that can feed us, building the healing centres where we can teach people alternative ways of living and within the adult learning centre to actually see people actually start making stuff original, pottery, ironmongery work. <laughs> this is our building. What we're sitting on is what we're going to build upon. Everybody says it costs thousands, hundreds of thousands of pounds to build a house. It doesn't. It doesn't. And we're going to show them that. That we can build houses cheap, sustainable and lovely to live in and very beautiful. I really feel and believe strongly that knowledge does not need to be put into children's heads, that they come inherent with the knowledge and given a place where they can roam free, free-range learning, lucid learning, where what they know can just emerge out of them and given the beautiful, safe environment for that to happen in, that they just flourish. And so the learning, they will have a little centre that's built by them for their, all their resources, for all the things that they uh, want to create themselves, books and what have you. And then just the rest of the land, the whole community is the school. We allow the kids to actually design their own school building. Mm. Uh, we allow the kids to do their own education, um, design their own lessons. Mm. But half the day they'll be on the, on the, the land with us. So the kids will be learning to build and they'll be learning to actually do permaculture. When I was a kid, I left home when I was 15 and a half and I lived in the woods and I had really nowhere to go. I didn't know what I was going to do or where I was, what, how my life was going to pan out. But the main vision for us is to have the community where people join together from the heart, to bring children in, to support children, to bring children in from the outside that haven't had a home or homeless now, they can come in and be under our wing and teach them from our heart the love, the peace, respect that most people or all people want to see. Mm -hmm. To teach them, that, give them the opportunity to start building their own little eco pots. To actually let them learn all varieties of work that we're going to do on, the, on this land. To open them up to new ideas. <laughs> This is my favourite part, one of my favourite parts. The little stream runs all the way around and it kind of makes this little island. And um, I see that when I came here the first time I could just feel music and people gathering and happiness. And I thought it'd be such a beautiful area if the lay of the land was right and the ley lines are right and everything kind of fits right. And, but for me it feels like the most beautiful place to have a little stone circle. East of England Not yet. that's happened here. A lot of people say that it's too difficult to get a community started here and buy some land because of land prices and planning issues and all of that kind of thing and where we are here we feel a great potential for something wonderful to be created and we don't envisage those kind of problems at all. It feels perfectly placed. The cost of this land to purchase and the funds that we need for the initial phase one um, it's going to cost us about £518,000. We're looking for a loan 
to make that purchase as soon as possible so we can get this up and running. And we're hoping and kind of praying that there's an angel investor out there that has this money, that wants to be part of this community, or at least wants to see it happen and maybe be a trustee of a project. And also have the opportunity, if you want to, to come and live on the land and be a guardian and live here and have a home and live, and live with us and join in. Um, a five year interest free loan. Yep. Um, what you do is you, your guarantee will be the land. The land will be put in trust. It will have a proviso where if the funds are not paid back to yourself within a certain amount of time, you will have the, la you have the land to sell. This is only for phase one. £518,000 would just give us initial setup costs to make sure we've got clean drinking water, power supply, materials, certain tools that we need to actually start uh, getting the land prepared, ready for building. Then phase two, that's going to take a couple of years to get to that state. Then phase three and four, which is actually the, the full plan of permission after getting the council on our side, that's going to take us to the five years. Mm -hmm. But within that time, we can build a permaculture centre, a healing centre. We can look for government grants, so the lottery, you can buy a ticket from £5, or a ticket, you can, you can enter the lottery by paying as little as £5 to as much as you like and have as many entries as you like. And um, this, is, this is part of our funding plan. Another part of our funding plan is we are creating a tree trust foundation whereby people give a certain amount of money as a donation and for that we plant a tree in your name or you come and plant it yourself and those trees are going to be fruit trees and nut trees and we're going to create orchards and these will be public open to everybody and open to those people especially that have been a sponsor for a tree to be planted and we re really wish that you would come and spend time with your tree watch it grow um, gather the fruits, gather the harvests with hug us, it, enjoy. Hug it, love it. <laughs> you know, do the normal things. Everybody yeah. hugging trees around here. Yeah. Sort of thing. They think we're completely mad. But Buy one for trees. your newborn baby. Come and scatter the ashes of your beloved departed ones. Have picnics there on Sundays. You know, come and join in and, and put a little positive energy into the earth here, into the land, and to see what we're getting up to. And, and to, it's another way of joining in. We're hoping that this project spreads so that we generate enough funds communally to then buy other pieces of land, put that into trust. I'm seeing society fall apart around us. I see, I see that we have the technology to change the world. And at the moment, we're not doing that. We see small pockets of people around. People like Lammas and the ones up in Scotland and a few around the world, but there's not enough yet. And this is a place where we really need to start changing quickly. This is the time. Now something feels different in the world and it really feels like this is the time. There is no more time to wait. And uh, the energy is really with us to do it.